Welcome to Petro Proficient. This video discusses the volumetric method of well control. Volumetric well control method is a special well control technique used when the normal circulation for killing a well cannot be done. Why do we need to learn about well control? For several years, man has used petroleum in a variety of ways. Even in the 21st century, with all the emerging alternative sources of energy like wind and solar, the demand for petroleum shows no signs of slowing down. To meet the growing demand, the industry is constantly pushing the frontiers of technology to drill, and produce from deeper waters, and similar harsh environments. It is not just the drilling technique that needs to be considered, the process safety is of critical importance to ensure safe and successful operation. Well control is important to ensure well integrity throughout the life cycle of the well, during drilling, production, intervention and abandonment phase. Well control is divided into three categories. Primary well control, secondary well control, and tertiary well control. Primary well control is maintaining sufficient hydrostatic pressure by the drilling fluid to hold back the formation fluid. When primary well control is lost, EOPs need to be closed and well killed. This is secondary well control. When secondary well control is not used, or not applied properly, and the well is blowing out, this calls for capping of well and, or relieve wells. This is tertiary well control. An example of tertiary well control is Macondo blowout in Gulf of Mexico. Relief wells were drilled, and the blowing well was successfully sealed off. During secondary well control, the two commonly used well control procedures are, driller's method, and, wait and wait method. These methods require a drill string to be in the well at the bottom and mud pumps for circulating the kick out. So, when do we need to use the volumetric method? Volumetric well control method is a special well control technique used when normal circulation cannot be done. There are several situations which prevent the circulation of kick by one of the circulating methods. They are Pumps inoperative Plugged drill string or a plugged bit Drill string above the kick And Drill string is out of the hole completely. Consider a well in which a gas kick has occurred, and gas bubble is at bottom gas being lighter than drilling fluid, will tend to migrate up the well. Its volume will increase, causing expansion, and pressure of the gas bubble will decrease. What happens if the migrating gas expands in open hole, without any back pressure? Gas is a compressible fluid. It is important to understand the expansion process of the gas. If no back pressure is applied and gas is allowed to expand freely, as per the gas law, one barrel of gas influx at 10,000 feet depth will expand to four barrels when the gas reaches halfway. And by the time gas reached surface, an estimated 347 barrels of expansion would have occurred. 
In practice, the standard approach is to shut the well in when a kick occurs. What if we leave the well shut in without initiating any well control procedure? Gas will start migrating upwards as shown in the illustration. What if the gas is allowed to migrate to surface without expansion? Let's see an example. In this illustration, a gas bubble enters a well bore and the pressure at the bottom is 5,500 psi. Hydrostatic pressure exerted by fluid column is 5,000 psi. As the gas bubble migrates halfway through, the hydrostatic pressure above the bubble is 2,500 psi and the pressure in the bubble is still 5,500 psi, as the bubble is not expanding. When the bubble reaches the surface, the surface pressure is 5,500 psi, and bottom hole pressure, 10,500 psi. This is equivalent of 20 ppg fluid in the well. In most cases, before the gas reaches surface, breakdown of weaker formation will occur, or in the worst case, the casing could burst. In conclusion, a means of controlled expansion of gas needs to be in place to avoid such catastrophic failures. Volumetric method allows the controlled expansion of gas, thus avoiding the undesired high pressure in the well during gas migration. Let's look at an example of volumetric method. Consider a 5-barrel kick swabbed in a well bore. The string is being pulled out and near the surface, therefore circulation is not possible. The well is shut in, and shut in casing pressure is 310 pounds per square inch. Drill pipe pressure cannot be recorded. Max casing pressure when fluid at surface is 1,500 pounds per square inch. And the pressure increment for gas expansion and bleeding is 120 pounds per square inch. For implementing volumetric method of well control, we need to do some calculations. Illustrated here. For this example, a 9 5 8 casing and 5 inches drill pipe has been considered. The two parameters calculated are, annular capacity factor, or, annular volume, and bleed volume. for each 120 pound per square inch increment. The choke operator needs to bleed 11.28 barrels, bleed volume to maintain constant bottom pressure. The casing pressure increases in steps as shown in the figure as the gas expands, while migrating to surface, until it reaches the maximum casing pressure. The volumetric method is not intended to kill the well, rather it aids in controlling the downhole and surface pressures. An established circulation procedure needs to be implemented at the earliest, to kill the well, and restore full control. Thank you for watching the video. We are committed to bring forth more videos to enrich your knowledge. Please support us by subscribing to the channel and benefit from the videos. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified about a new video. Thank you.